On my first call with Justin Marks, the creator of Counterpart, he called Counterpart a story about the templates of destiny. One of the very first sketches I did after speaking with Justin was that of a go game that was splitting in two directions. It began to be this nice visual metaphor for us uh, from the beginning. It is said that no two games of go are ever the same. It speaks to just how fragile the nature of identity really is because with a simple choice in a different way, you could change the outcome of your life. One of the first things we did was visit the set and take a ton of photos. It was fantastic how many patterns there were that would sort of symbolize the bureaucracy that Howard was trapped in as they became more uh, dimensional environments. What begins as two go pieces on a grid slowly begins to evolve not just to details of the Office of Interchange, but also details of the city skyline. Many of the structures we used were based on um, the architecture of Berlin, actually, which was great because there's something with the size and the scale of this kind of brutalist architecture that is sort of alienating or makes you feel the scale like you are very small within it. We wanted two very small and lonely figures placed into that very large mechanism who would always be seen wandering through the landscape, almost searching for each other. We embrace this theme, this question, can you escape the template of your own identity? The idea that you are thinking that you're making choices and your life is a free will only to discover that's actually been in these patterns all along and there's a destiny that you just can't escape.